If we heard the formula C12H22O11, those letters and numbers may not tell a thing, neither if we say disaccharide, although sucrose may sound familiar. But when we start talking about glucose or fructose, we begin to understand that sugar is a topic. But besides of an ingredient for our coffee, what is sugar? What effects does it have in our bodies? Furthermore, how important it is for our health? Cruz, the famous Cuban singer, mentioned sugar while interpreting his songs. This due to the intensity and emotion these words evokes relating to the effects this carbohydrate has in our bodies. No puedo más. This woman with ways of many colors and plump lips was never wrong when mentioning it, because as you can guess, once sugar enters in our bloodstream, it produces chemical reactions. Sugar is a basic ingredient in all diets and is found naturally in all plants. When it comes to domestic and industrial consumption, it is commonly extracted from cane, beet, corn, and sorghum. Sugar it is consumption has been studied by nutrition specialists. If it's consumed in large quantities, it can cause health issues. Sugar by itself is not harmful, but as human beings, we need food that besides satisfying our hunger, surprises our senses and comforts us. From time to time, we crave for something sweet. A number of chemical substances regulate this impulse just like the joy and wellness that eating sugar causes. You're goddamn right. These substances are in our brain. Have you heard about dopamine, serotonin, and beta endorphins? They are substances produced in our brain, drawn from an important amino acid called tryptophan, found mainly in protein from food like chocolate, peanut butter, almonds, and nuts. Eating sugar, especially candies, causes serotonin to be released, which is key for making us feel peaceful. It causes sleepiness and comfort on some people. All sugars are the same. Sometimes they differ between natural and added, and by association we believe natural sugar is healthier than added sugar. But this is wrong. If it is found naturally, like in fruits and vegetables, or if it is added to the cake or a cookie, it's a still sugar. Usually added sugar is associated with products of low nutritional value, and that is why it seems that something harmful. There are researchers that analyze the excessive consumption of sugar as the cause of diabetes, cavities, rheumatic disease, arthritis, metabolic disease, kidney stones, gout, constipation, pancreatitis, and many more. Even though this is only a half truth, it has not been proved that indeed sugar it is the cause. Nor is there scientific evidence of an addiction to sugar, but the availability of the sweet food and beverages, along with the strong consumption culture, promotes excessive intakes. This can be very problematic for persons with a tendency for non-balanced diets and a preference for sweet food. The real issue here are habits. We live in a society that consumes a lot of sweet beverages, and let's not forget that our diet contains considerable quantities of sugar. Global Health Organization for Cell Diabetes and Obesity associated with sugar consumption will be a severe health problem on a worldwide scale. The WHO and the PAHO have marked new guidelines for the sugar consumption on children and adults. These international organisms urge people to shorten the daily sugar intake to less than 10% of total calories, or near 10 teaspoons per day on a 2,000 calories diet. This quantity provides health benefits. A lifestyle that includes physical activity has an upper hand on compensating sugar consumption. Sugar is part of our diet and gives us energy, but it also makes food look more appealing. The excessive consumption of any nutrient can be harmful for our weight and health. Also, if it is consumed in moderation, you can enjoy sugar as part of a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. We invite you to improve your relationship with the sugar without excess. What you can add to your day in any measure are our episodes. Meet, share and comment, all with vitamina C.